Hello. In this lesson we're going to look at two-point perspective drawing. So we're going to be drawing a cube and we're going to be drawing it um, from using what we call two-point perspective. So we've got this cube here you can see that I've drawn and we can see here a line along here which is a horizon and on that horizon I've marked two points which we've, I've marked as a VP. These are vanishing points and that means that every point on this cube will move towards or a line will move towards the vanishing point that side and the vanishing point this side. So the two vanishing points are our two points hence two point perspective. So to draw this we're going to take a piece of A4 paper I've already put a title on, um, there's an additional uh, video you can watch to show you how to put the title on. So what I've done here is I'm drawing my horizon and I'm going to mark here and here uh, two vanishing points. What I'll do is I'll use a fine liner to put those in. I would recommend you use a pencil you can use an HB pencil. This is actually a 3H pencil, if you can see that, and this is um, will do a really nice light line so that it keeps it clear. So we've got a horizon here, and what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a line roughly in the middle of the page, and that needs to be at 90 degrees. So this line here is uh, vertical, this is horizontal. Then if we look here we've got we're going to mark four centimeters. So if we mark onto this piece of paper here about two or three centimeters below we're going to mark there and there. So we've got two, two points on this line four centimeters apart. Then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a uh, line from this point to the vanishing point and then from this point here to the vanishing point then from this point here to the vanishing point and from there so if you put the the the, the, the ruler on one point and then move the, keeping it on that point move it to there that's the best way of doing it so now we can see that we've created these two parts here what we need to do then is we need to mark our depth so on here I've done three centimeters because actually there would be some foreshortening on there so I'm going to mark a point here at three centimeters and I'm going to mark a point here at three centimeters. I'm then going to do another vertical line and another vertical line there. What you can do is if you take this vertical line and just keep moving the ruler from here to here you'll keep it vertical. So now we can see that we've created this part here, this face here, this face here. So what we need to do now is create this top face and how we do that is we go from this point here to there and this point here to there so as I say pick up one point and then move the ruler to the other point so there we have our cube what I'm going to do now is just line it in using a fine liner now you could do this using a pencil Here's a tip here, when you're using a ruler like this and you don't want to make messy lines, the whole reason the ruler is actually shaped like that is so that you can use it this way and then it doesn't drag the ink across.
So, there we have our cube drawn in two point perspective. We've got vanishing point one, vanishing point two. I just noticed that I missed that line off there. What you can do when you finish that, you could add, use a pencil for some shading, or you could complete what I've done there is I just used a one color color pencil. You can always add a little bit of blue here. And there is our cube in one point perspective.